Hello, you are welcome to this class. I am going to teach you how you can crop your image from Photoshop. Now, let's go. You come to your um, Photoshop, you click on files to import the image you want to crop. You understand? So, let me go to my image. For example, let me crop this image. If you are into photography or you want to design a kind of um, frame or banner or some kind of catching um, adverts on your social media or for a client. Now, you have, you have your image like this, you want to crop. Now, you want to change the background of the image totally. I don't want the background, the kind of leaf background of my image. Now, you have, you have many ways you can do that on Photoshop. You, have, you can go to your selection tools this place. And um, we have three types of selection tools. We have um, when you open it, we have lasso tools, polygonal lasso tools, and magnetic lasso tools. Now, this lasso tools, this one, this is how you just drag your drag. Let your hand be straight while dragging it, you understand? And this is this is this like, like this round the object. But I don't normally like using lasso lasso cropping because it's somewhat technical and you have to be very very sensitive and your hands must be straight and you have to zoom your objects very very well before you can use it and uh, polygonal which that one too is common one many um, graphic artists used now to to crop out image for example i can zoom it also zoom can zoom, image, can zoom out control plus control plus so we come down, we start, I'll start from anywhere I want to start from, like this, like this. Don't mind if my hand is shaking, or let me use my hand, let me use my mouse keyboard. So you can see how I'm cropping the picture. So I'm copying the picture. If you have any like a kind of um, mistake, you can press the leads to go back to your normal. So the previous set selection. Okay, I'm following us as we're doing it. Okay, so I'm taking my time to make sure my cropping is very smooth and accurate. Now, in case, let me show you something. In case as you are cropping, something like this happens, you understand? Don't be worried. All you need is just to come to this place, click on this hard selection, click on it, then continue your cropping. You don't need to say, wow, uh, do I have to start all over again? No. Just click on hard selection and continue your cropping. Let me 
zoom it again come to plus then you continue from where you it stop like this I will continue like this Make sure that your cropping is almost inside your image so that you won't have a kind of white uh, outline on your image when you finish cropping. You can see that I'm true with that now, and now you can. I want to show you how this ad selection works because now you know, mistakenly, my cropping joined together at the middle of my cropping. So, if you know, my normal days, some someone will have to come back from this start or start again from the scratch. But ah, I press ad selections and I continue my cropping, and at the end. You come to this place, make sure that I enter into the former cropping and try to link it up with my new cropping, like adding it to the former one, like this. Can you see? It added to the former cropping. So you can see I don't have any, I don't have any fear of any anything like that occurring while cropping. Now, after my selection, how do I get my picture out? There are many ways you can get a picture out. You can control C, control N, which is another new tab. You can, I can press another new tab, that, that, which is my, I, I, I was using uh, like A5 before. Landscape, great. Then control V. You can see my picture is there. You can, can maximize it, can make it big. It's done. You can see that there's no background for my picture, it's all plain white background. Now I can let me go back. I side control C and control V, which is copy and paste. I can also delete the background from here and leave the picture I'm working with right here. If your picture is locked like this. Just press it, it's unlocked. Then come to the picture, click your crop tools, and right click on the picture and select inverse. That means you are selecting the background with Luna because I selected my picture while cropping. Now I need to select inverse so that you can delete. So just press delete on your keyboard. You can see there's nothing like leave three at the program again and Ctrl D to, uh, to remove this selection line. Now you can see I have my picture without background. Can you see? You can treat the picture to make it maybe more, you know, add some effect to the picture by go to image, adjustment, then right browse. So which is you can add, you can see, let me show you, you can see the picture is changing from green light, you can you see? And dark and more shiny. Now, okay. Now, my picture is is now cropped and treated. So I can pick any background I want to put on that. Go to your open, then select any background you feel like. Let me go. To, if I have any background, need to download. Okay, let me go to da download. Okay, I've been downloaded already. Let me check any background picture. Okay. Let me pick this one. So. Do I have any better background here? Let me pick this one. Like this. Now I have this background. 
so I can choose anyone. I can choose any background I want. So I, 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 I can pick. So let me pick my pick two. Then go to carry the picture and drop it where you want it to be, like here. Now this is the picture. This is the, my background. It's my background. So I want to make it the background of my design. You understand? Like this. So I will just go to my layer, like you did in our last class. How to use layer? Bring this layer up. Can you see? So I have another background for my picture. Can you see? I can I can give it a kind of plain background if you like. I can come to my rectangle tools and draw it rectangle. So I can put it at the back of the picture like this. Can you see? So you can change the background of the picture. Like I have my image here, and I have to put half, maybe on the image, to show that you know a kind of a message of love, you know, like that. Now let me go to my file and pick any image like that. Okay, I have apple here. This apple. Now let me import it. Now let me take it from here and put it on my on my work like this is big wow so now i have to press control zero and resize it to my normal page normal page and press ok then control zero again now you see i have my image but it has white background and i don't want this white background so how do i do it so you can remove this one because it's white i don't need to be copying this one by one like i did for the show again what we do is just go to your magnet one to click on it. Then make sure you are on hard selection, hard to selection. Because if not, the moment you place another point on your picture, the other one will deselect. So now I press hard selection and I go to my image. Make sure that you are clicking on the layer of the apple so that you will be cropping another picture. Now click on it like this. You can see it's select. All my background was selected at once, but I still have some that I need to touch, like uh, the bottom of this apple. So I'll click on it again, click on it until there's nothing that's selected. You understand? You can see that the hair, the shadow is not showing again. Click on it, but that's the element of white. So you can see, apps and this place too. Now, you can see I use magnetic one tools to select all the plane background then on my keyboard i just press delete wow you can see i've removed the background of the apple ctrl g to remove the something you can see also i can now resize it resize this like this and put it anywhere you want to put it now i can now write on it by putting apple love Now, you can see that I removed the background from the apple using what this one to use, and I removed the background from my images using what polygonal tassel tools. So, we have many cropping tools for different uh, style or different work we want to do. You understand? So, you have to, but I prefer using polygonal tools because it makes my work neat, like I told you, and I'm very, very used to that. You understand? So, people are used to many, many selection um, tools, but I'm used to polygonal tools because it gives me kind of insight of what really I'm cropping. Now, this is how to change the background of an image using selection tools, and I believe you all enjoy this class. So, if you have any issues or any challenges, just not hesitate to come to my Facebook page. On my YouTube, and 
write a comment there i will surely reply you and if you enjoyed this video please don't put yourself in love share it to your friends i want to everybody in in uh, in the in the industry that this with photoshop or this with creativity so they can start learning and how to do their own work and their pictures on their own please subscribe to the channel like it watch the video and share it on social media thank you very much see you next time when we come again to teach you another step or in our understand on photoshop thank you